Ta-da! This is what we're gonna talk about today. Road bikes for just about 1000 British pounds or 1100 euros or 1200 dollars. We are somewhere there. You've been asking me about some roadies which are no longer maybe the budget bikes but still quite affordable ones and it can be a really smart decision because in my opinion this is kind of a sweet spot and these bikes will really have most of the features that even those high-end very expensive carbon machine machines are getting you I'm gonna cover five things you should be focusing on when checking out some bikes for your purchase so let's start with it but at first I'm gonna show you just one thing you should not be focusing on and manufacturers really know that you do let's look at it and so, my friends, do not focus just on the rear derailleur because if you look at those on the bikes, usually the rear derailleur will be the highest um, part of your equipment on the whole bike because it can be, let's say, Shimano 105, but then the crankset won't be 105, the brakes won't be 105, or it can be all Tigra and the rest will be just some lower FSA or Shimano 105 components then don't focus on this one really focus on those five things i'm gonna show you right now the thing number one is the frame of your bike for 1200 dollars you're gonna usually buy a bike with the aluminum frame some bikes uh, feature carbon frame but it doesn't necessarily have to be better uh, than the good quality alloy especially at this price price point so we've got here the rose pro sl uh, bike this is the aluminum frame and let's just use it as a benchmark because this is one of the best in 2018 uh, bikes on the market uh, for this price so how you should look at the frame and what on the frame will show you whether it's really worth the price or not Yes, you can see how much work the manufacturer have uh, spent on your frame uh, and one of the things here is the head tube. Uh, for $1200 you wanna have the tapered head tube and not all of the bikes uh, will feature it. That means uh, that the top bearing at the bottom bearing of your headset, it's inside this tube here, uh, should be different size. This is for example 118 inch by 1.5 inch that also means that your bike will maneuver better it will be stiffer and so the tapered so-called tapered head tube should be there on the bikes for about twelve hundred dollars another thing is also um, looking at the uh, at the welds as you can see this frame looks almost like carbon frame that means that uh, manufacturer have spent a lot of time uh, smoothening those welds working on those welds uh, and this is very good info very good feedback for us it should be a good frame and really this bike is pretty light another thing is also the hydro forming uh, the more your your frame has been formed so it has different shapes throughout different tubes that means the more manufacturer uh, or, or the engineers have been working on it this one as you can see each tube will have different shapes it should be stiff in that um, in that direction and it should be maybe a little bit flexy in other direction so hydro forming forming of these tubes is really important factor of good frames uh, on the bikes for twelve hundred dollars the next thing you want to check out on your bike is the bottom bracket shell the bottom bracket has the bearings just inside the shell this is the crankset right it spins here on these uh, on these bearings and if you've got the threaded bottom bracket like bsa bottom bracket uh, it is good, it is reliable, it is easy to service, but it is also cheaper to make. If you have something like this, which is called press fit bottom bracket, where the bearings are being pressed into the frame, that means uh, this frame is just more expensive uh, to be made. It doesn't necessarily mean it will be just better, because it makes so much more precision than those threaded uh, shells. Uh, but if the manufacturer uh, may make it very good then the frame will be stiffer and lighter here so press fit bottom bracket are usually made for more expensive frames it would be nice to have a press fit bottom bracket uh, on the bike uh, for $1200 just like this one 
The second thing you want to check out is the fork of the bike. At this price point it should be full carbon. What it means? Full carbon means that your fork, which is made of the blades, the right one, the left one, and the steerer, which is here inside the head tube, all should be carbon. Uh, when you read the description on online on some uh, like official websites of those uh, those brands you can read that the fork is carbon bladed usually that means that steerer is alloy and only the blades are made of carbon fiber this one is full carbon so both this uh, steer inside and those blades are made of carbon fiber uh, that means uh, of course the fork will be lighter but also you get more compliance and fork with the seat post I'm going to mention in a second uh, here uh, can really benefit to the compliance and comfort of your bike. So remember full carbon fork for $1200 bike. We've covered the frame, the fork and the third thing maybe a little one but can be quite crucial is the seat post. Your saddle is attached to the seat post and the seat post goes uh, into your frame. If it's a carbon one, that's a nice thing because carbon will flex to the back while you are going through some rough tarmac, let's, let's say, or some small gravel maybe. Uh, so the carbon one will be nice. It's not only for the lightweight, but for the comfort in my opinion. This one here uh, is from uh, Ricci, is a good one, but this is the alloy one. So if you have like, let's say, Mm, not that expensive wheels or some other parts which are maybe cheaper but you've got the carbon seat post it's almost it's always uh, the trade so check out the seat post and ask whether it's alloy or carbon carbon is usually better cool now we are looking at the components components of your bikes uh, might be a full group set like Shimano 105, Shimano Tiagra. Some bikes for $1200 uh, dollars will have, will feature Shimano Tiagra, some even Sora, even lower. This is Shimano 105, you're not gonna get Shimano Altigra. 105 is ideal, but what's important, it should be a full group set if possible. So your group set will be the crank set, the chain, the front derailleur, the rear derailleur, the cassette so it should be 11 speed groups and that means 11 uh, sprockets uh, on the cassette then the brakes which are also Shimano 105 on this bike and the shifters uh, these are the parts of your bike you're gonna both brake with and change the gears I really love the bikes which get a full group set. It's very easy to estimate how much is the bike really worth because you can just check out how much the group set costs, how much the individual parts uh, will cost. Uh, and one important thing here is that 11 speed group set will be upgradable to some better components. I assume that if you spend $1200 for the bike, you will be upgrading, upgrading at least some parts. So if you have the 11 speed cassette, you will be able to buy a lighter one if you want to, Altigra or Dura Ace, uh, or replace the crank set for the lighter one, Altigra or Dura Ace. Uh, you can do same with other uh, brands like SRAM and, and Campagnolo. Uh, there will be even a 12 speed group sets. So uh, 105 is the cheapest group set uh, which has the 11 speed uh, on the rear and if you get the bike with Tiagra components which is absolutely awesome you have to know that you won't be able to upgrade your shifters, uh, your, your chain, your cassette uh, for the higher group set because those higher ones will have 11 speed and these are not compatible. So that's that's important thing. Complete Shimano 105 group set is ideal at this price point. Easy peasy. Number five, the last one is the wheels. Most of the brands uh, are saving money on the wheels, uh, giving you some rims and some hubs. You don't really know uh, how much they cost, how much they worth. So maybe if, if Rose would give you wheels, uh, let's say they would call it like Rose Super Light 556. Uh, you don't know what kind of wheels these are. Here we, we are getting the Mavic Axiom wheels 
which you can Google, you can check out the Mavic website, you can check out the price of the wheels uh, in the stores and you know what you're getting. So I'm not saying you should get like Mavic Axim wheels, which will be standard for a good uh, road bikes for just about $1200. But I'm telling you, if you get some wheels like, let's say, Fulcrum Quattro or something, some known brands and models, that means uh, the manufacturer is not hiding anything. It's not trying to, uh, to give you some components. You don't really know how much they're worth. So in this, um, this case, Mavic Axiom with Mavic uh, Ixion, um, tires is really a good uh, choice of the manufacturer that's why I've chosen this bike as the benchmark and of course if you're getting all the other components like the stem and the handlebars and the uh, mentioned uh, before uh, seat post and the saddle from a brand you know and the model you know that's even better but usually Still at that price point, those will be from different brands. Here we've got Richie, which is nice. But remember about those five, five main things I've mentioned. That's it. Frame is the most important. The fork, very important. Then the seat post, if it's carbon, that's very, very good. Components like the group sets is crucial, but uh, make sure it's complete, which will not be that often. Uh, the case and then uh, the wheels it's good to know what you have and finally i think uh, you will be asking me questions like dan when i should i get like better group set with the frame which doesn't have the uh, the tapered head tube or the full carbon fork or I should focus on the frame and get a lower group set well it depends uh, because if you don't really ride hard you're not gonna feel the difference that much be or not at all maybe between the tapered head tube and not tapered head tube and maybe you would like to upgrade your group set in the future so you're gonna have 11 speed but usually that's my approach i focus on the frame mostly on the frame mostly so uh, if it's a tiagra component so even 10 speed uh, but with really good frame, the light frame, you can ask about the weight of the frame and uh, if the brand is telling you what's the weight of the frame and you can see the tape, tapered head tube and the full carbon fork, that's something I would go for. In this uh, case, we've got both. We've got Shimano 105 group set and we, we've got the uh, tapered head tube. Don't take it as the, as the advertisement of this bike, but this is really one of the best bikes now in uh, 2018. Uh, on the market and it's not the first time I'm uh, putting my hands on the uh, Pro SL from Roaster so that's that's really cool um, and I think that's it uh, as for the weight good $1200 bike should weigh about 8.5 kilograms this one in size large like for me I'm uh, 182 centimeters tall uh, this one weighs 8.4 kilograms without the pedals, which is really good weight, but usually uh, those bikes will, will weigh just about like 8.7, some even 9 kilograms, which is too much then uh, in my opinion, but between 8.4, 8.8, 8.9 is a pretty good weight for this, uh, this price range. And that's it. If you have further questions, put those in the comments. You can always ask some deeper questions on our forum, which, are, which we are working on so much right now. And also you can join our Facebook group. See you soon, guys. Bye bye.